I'm Jenny Lou, and I have a question for you. What is complacency to you? Here's five seconds. Okay, so Merriam-Webster Dictionary says that it's something like this. It's self-satisfaction often accompanied by the unawareness of actual dangers of defi or deficiencies, sorry, which basically means that you're comfortable and satisfied even though there are reasons that you shouldn't be. Additionally, in my own words, in my own experiences, it means that I'm constricted by instinct to a comfort zone that feels safe for me. And I don't want to do anything that's harder than what I've usually been doing. And I'm okay with it. For example, here's a story of an instance where I had to overcome that complacency. I used to not really care about pets or like dogs, cats, fishes, nothing. I didn't want to have anything to do with some other life that wasn't mine. And I didn't want any responsibility regarding any other animal. So when my sister came home at the beginning of the year, this year, 2020, she brought home a cat. And weeks after bringing him home, she didn't have any time to actually take care of him besides his food and water needs. And I thought, well, it's not my responsibility. I didn't ask for a cat. And I don't have to socialize with him. He's not mine. But as time went on, we played together and we hung out on the floor together and I, we got closer to each other and I learned how to protect him and how to be more compassionate towards not just other humans but other animals and plants and learn how to just love more. And that was something I learned trying to get out of this complacency. And that's, that was an experience where I was able to overcome but recently and currently, for example, I'm very complacent with my art skills as an artist. I just think that I'm like right here in where I am with my art and I'll tell myself, hey, this is not bad, it's actually pretty good and I don't need to improve. But in actuality, there are a lot of things that are missing from my, um, from my art. And so when I learn those things and when I figure out what I'm actually missing and I actually try to incorporate those in my art then I start to grow and grow and grow until I'm right here at a plateau again and I say oh actually this is really good I haven't ever drawn as good as I have before because I used to be here and now I'm here so I'm content for a little bit and being content is a really good thing but until I figure out that there's more that I should be learning. For example, there's more anatomy and perspective that I could be incorporating into my um, my art. That's when I learn that I could get better. But if I dis but if I learn that and I decide I don't need it, that's when I'm complacent again. And that's art skills isn't exactly something that everyone needs to improve on, but the skill of learning how to overcome yourself and just grow out of your old shell is something that applies to almost every as aspect in life. And for example, a lot of people in my family are chain smokers. If I'm not, I don't mind saying that. And it comes at the detriment of relationships in our family for reasons. And that is something that my family members need to first admit and overcome, secondly. And that's why I think it's important to know how to identify it and also know how to surpass it. There are also three things that I find are often similarly associated with it, but they're very different things. And those things, three things are being content, trying your best, and being overwhelmed. Contentionness to me is being satisfied because you, yes, you have achieved your goals that you set for yourself. And that's why contentness is so much better than complacency because complacency is being satisfied with something that you haven't done or being satisfied and saying that there's nothing that needs to be done. When in, react in actuality, in reality, there's a lot of things that could improve and there's almost no 
stopping improvement in any part of life. Trying your best is the process of moving from plateau to plateau. So before and after be becoming complacent. Before, you're you're leading up to here and then afterwards you stay here for a little bit and then you realize hey I can improve and you get better that's what trying your best is and just know that trying your best is different for everyone and it's also different for yourself trying your best is it's just that it's trying your best and depending on the day depending on your mood and certain circumstances your best could be something different for one day different for another day and and going off of that on one other note being stressed and being overwhelmed is something that on the outside can seem like you're not doing any any more than you could be doing but people may not may or may not be able to see that there is a lot of pressure and over and like just other outstanding stressors that push you down and make you overwhelmed and when you're in that state and undergoing a bunch of labels and judgment you start to think hey am I actually really trying and maybe you are maybe you aren't and maybe it is in your own control but maybe it isn't and that's okay to not be in control and I, I really think this is almost the opposite of complacency because one it's not something that you can choose it's often a bunch of outside external stressors and for two, I also there's also no comfort in this, and there's no there's no staying in a safe spot for you. It's very unpleasant to be overwhelmed. So, as we are as things are right now in quarantine, I know that there are a lot of people that are going undergoing so many different stresses, and they just might be just overwhelmed and trying to get better, but don't know how to get better. And whether you or not you're able to or not able to, there's always room for improvement. So whether you're complacent or overwhelmed or content, there's always room to get better. And if you want to do it, then you can. And if there is a need for it, then perhaps you should. And that's up to you.